Hey guys, a Thunder E here, and as the title says, I am going to show you the best microphones for YouTubers and PC gamers. Yes, microphones are something that, of course, when you're a YouTuber, it's really important. And I've been using one of these microphones for quite a while, which would be the first microphone I'm talking about, which is right here. I am talking about the Blue Embo microphone. This is an XLR microphone. It's a really solid mic. And for an XLR microphone, it's only priced at 99 bucks. Again, Blue comes in clutch with that, uh, you know, just low cost pricing there. Uh, slim, slender format. It's great for pretty much all purposes, whether you're gaming, uh, you're recording uh, voiceover for YouTube, which is what I do all the time. I use this microphone. Uh, the one thing you do need, of course, is, uh, is say a preamp, which I do have the Focusrite preamp here. I'm using the Scarlett 212, uh, which is priced about 175, but they've got a, a version that's priced at 100 bucks, which is really nice uh, that you can pair it with. Uh, you can plug in two microphones uh, on there, and that gives you this very rich and clean sound you're hearing right now. Uh, whether you're uh, doing your voiceovers and YouTube videos, or you are singing, you're a musician, uh, if you are also uh, gaming and you know chatting with friends, this microphone does a really, really good job. I like the fact that you can easily put it on a mounting hand, you can put it on a stand, uh, whichever format you want to use the microphone, it works out really well. And again, it's priced at 99 bucks, you really can't go wrong. This is a cardio, this is a cardio uh, microphone and it's absolutely solid. Now let's move on to our next microphone. Now our next microphone is the Bear Dynamic Fox USB condenser microphone. Uh, this is something that came out last year. You can pick it up for about $145. Uh, Why I like this mic, it, it comes with a collapsible stand. So it's a little bit more portable, but it's a very solid microphone, 24 bit uh, to, and 24 bit 96 kilohertz uh, studio grade quality. Uh, you've got a headphone jack. You've got all these things built into it. Now we, we got to check out the microphone last Last year and we actually did a video so I want you guys to just hear a sample of what the mic actually sounds off uh, the Bear Dynamic Fox and I think it's one that you really like especially for its unique design and nature. You've also got a volume rocker so you can actually increase or decrease your volume levels when you're plugged in via the 3.5 mm jack. Now uh, at the back of the device uh, the microphone you do have a gain uh, switcher so basically you can switch from high to low gain there is no gain meter our very next microphone is the hyperx quadcast which is right here this is a very interesting microphone being it's the first entry for standalone microphone from hyperx this is a well-built microphone it looks really nice as you can clearly see in this video it is lit it's got an led uh light built into the microphone letting you know that it's on uh which is really cool now it comes with an anti-vibration shock mount which is right here so you don't need to buy one when using this it comes with its own stand uh but i have it on an arm here so you you can place it in any scenario and i really love the fact that the shock mount is there it makes it easy for you to move from location to location now you've also got uh four uh polar patterns for this microphone so you can select and choose it's got a 3.5 mm jack it's also uh, powered by a uh, mic mini usb port which i don't know why people are using that but nice long braided cable so you can actually extend from where your pc is now the cool thing about this is also got a tap to mute function which is on the very top of the microphone or at least on the bottom as you see in this video so when i go ahead and tap right like like this Then I tap again and there's audio. So this is a really cool feature. It's really nice. And I love the whole aesthetic and build to this uh, microphone. Now, at the very top here, there is a dial for the gain. So you do have the gain dial here. I have it on the very lowest uh, uh, to ensure that, you know, it just captures my voice entirely. But I love the mic. It's very good for gaming sessions. It's good uh, for YouTube recordings, as you're seeing in this video. And I think at its price point of $139, which is currently at, at Amazon, 
this is a really nice buy. So another microphone I think a lot of uh, you guys will like as gamers or YouTubers is this right here. This is the MXL 990 Blizzard. It's a condenser microphone. The Blizzard, of course, is one of the limited edition lines from MXL uh, for the 990. Uh, this is a condenser microphone. It also connects via an XLR cable. So you, you do need uh, that if you want to use this, this microphone. What I like about it is it just delivers some really clean, crisp, clear sound. Uh, you hear me use this microphone right now, and it does a really good job at it. It's I like also its compact nature. You can see the height of the microphone. It doesn't look too large. It's something you can uh, plug and also gives a very nice aesthetic look if you want to showcase your microphone in your videos. It's not just a regular black market microphone. Now, it's got a frequency range of 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, this is just a really nice and simple microphone to use and also uh, cost effective within that range. Again, all the microphones we're looking at are sub uh, 150 and this fits in quite well. So there you have it guys. Uh, let's move on to our next and uh, final mic. Now, last but not least uh, is the Mod Mic Wireless. Now, Mod Mics have made really good, you know, microphones for a long time. Microphones that you didn't have to buy headphones for, you could use headphones you like. Now, a wireless version has come out and I have to say this one is truly a beauty. Now, the Mod Mic Wireless retails for about $119. And again, it's a detachable mic uh, that you can actually basically pull out this way. I'm gonna keep talking. And then you can attach back to your headset. So I'm wearing a pair of Bang & Olufsen headphones. Uh, these are Bluetooth wireless headphones I can connect to my computer via Bluetooth. This uses its own separate radio frequency uh, as well as also uses Aptex uh, latency. So Qualcomm's Aptex latency is to get some really clean and smooth audio and low latency of only about 34 milliseconds. So when you're using this, people will hear you crisps They'll hear you well, and your your voice will match your lips. So as I'm talking, they match pretty well. And again, it's a wireless solution, so I can walk away, and I still keep a really good quality. Now, you've got two different modes. You can toggle between unidirectional and noise-canceling microphone. Uh, the only downside is the, the way to toggle it is right by the mic. So when you're recording, you're going to hear a difference, and I can toggle that. You can hear the difference here. Uh, and then I can toggle back, and then you hear the difference uh, from that, the original uh, setup. Really nice setup, I like it. Uh, the only thing is that you have to uh, realize that you're gonna have one of your headphones look like this, but if you want the freedom, if you want that microphone, that will still give you some really good quality um, audio. I think this goes a long way. So there you have it, guys. Those are the microphones that I think a lot of people will definitely enjoy uh, if you're a YouTuber or a gamer. You can't go wrong with any of these options, and all of them are under $150, and probably give you one of the best sound solutions you can think of. So if you have any questions or any comments about microphones, and you think there's something you want to check out, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.